everybody, Chad here with Colorado Giants. This will be the final update from what once was the Colorado Pumpkin Cave. As you can see, the Colorado Pumpkin Cave has been dismantled. It lies in pieces over there. You can see the various walking boards, the screen that has come off, the PVC supports. Elisa and I cleared out the vines today. All of the secondaries are gone, all of the tertiaries, all of the and the vines that grew throughout the season are all gone. All that remains is Smashing Pumpkin and Red Baron. So, yeah, so we got a couple of friends coming over here in a little while. Uh, Anna Marie, Terry, and Calvin, also members of the Rocky Mountain Giant Vegetable Growers and definitely honorary members of the Colorado Giants growing team. Um, we're gonna come and load the last two pumpkins into the trailer that I had to rent in the back of the truck. So if you take a look at that bed of my truck and pan over to smashing, you will see that that does not quite add up. Unfortunately, I am not gonna be able to get smashing into the back of my truck, so we had to go ahead and rent a trailer. Um, good problem to have, I guess, to have a pumpkin so big that it won't fit in the back of your truck. Um, yeah, so we got the lifting ring, uh, the king ring from Lee, not from Lee, the, the king ring from Nelson Machine, from Kyle, will be put to good use here in about another hour or so. Uh, let's go look at Red Baron. So you can see the stump. Come on over here. So something that I thought was pretty interesting is that had some sort of critter put all of all of this there's there's tunnels when you step around here I can feel kind of like tunnel caving in so we had we had some sort of something get in here and, and, and tunnel around the stump of, uh, of Red Baron but you can see goes down looks real good that was just kind of peculiar not sure not sure what the heck it was but there's a definitely a sizable hole the stump, I would say the main vine is probably about 10 feet from stump to Red Baron. Actually, I'm going to call that 8 feet. So, 8 foot from stump to pumpkin. Red Baron tapes smaller than Bubba. Bubba last week taped at 1025 and actually weighed 925. This pumpkin right here taped smaller than that. However, I really think that this pumpkin, I really think he's heavy. I just have a gut feeling he thumps like a rock and uh, has that kind of that big pumpkin look, but not so much on the, the massive size. But I'm, I'm hopefully, I'm confident that hopefully he'll be over a thousand pounds. So that's Red Baron. I think Red Baron's probably going to go to the Fort Collins way off on Sunday. So in two days, he's going to Fort Collins. Maybe. I really don't know yet, though. So, smashing. Let's take a look at the stump. Something that I definitely noticed between the stumps of Bubba, Red Baron, and smashing was just that this one is a lot thicker in diameter. If you look over there and kind of pan back over here, you will you can see that the, the, the thickness of the main vine is consistent throughout this all the way up to the pumpkin. So I think that was one of the nice things. I'm looking at the, the main vine right here and something was chewing on it. So that goes back to one of the problems that we talked about in the earlier videos where I had, I had too much going on, too much crowding, I couldn't get in to inspect things and, and there was tons of places for mice to hide. So I think that right there is some mouse chewings and uh, didn't help the situation. But obviously, you know, I did okay, but could it have been bigger? Oh no. Um, yeah, so 
the patch as a whole, something I wanted to touch on, the patch as a whole is, is a little over 800 square feet. So in less than 1,000 square foot of growing space, I have, I think it, it's safe to say that I'll have 3,000 pounds of, of pumpkin grown in, in roughly 800 square feet, which is pretty darn cool, I think. So kind of goes to what I've been talking to a few other people about, that you don't necessarily have to have unlimited space. You could still grow really big pumpkins with a smaller space. A thousand pounds is absolutely achievable. But with that being said, I'm going to only have two pumpkins in this space next year. And then in addition, I'm going to start a second patch where I'll have two more pumpkins. So even though I'm saying absolutely you can grow a thousand pound pumpkin in, in you know, 500 square feet, pumpkins in this in this patch which will allow me to get in weed vine berry you know see when something like that happens see when something is, is building a tunnel underneath uh, of a stump and, uh, and, and address those problems as they come up not find those problems when we're harvesting the fruits so uh, tips for next year um, really super excited for next year we have a uh, new millennium nutrients on board they're going to be uh, supplying us with a lot of the nutrients that we're going to use next year. Um, we're also going to keep on using uh, the Marks Mixes product. Uh, I really think that uh, that his his fertilizer program had a, had a big hand in, in how we accomplished this here. It's 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 just super easy to use. I recommend it for for beginners. It's it's you know step by step things. You really can't screw it up. Um, uh, yeah, you know it's it's. It was a great product. We have uh, Smart Pots. Smart Pots has, has sent us a ton of large pots. We're going to try and break the record, the state record for tomato in a pot. Um, and we're probably going to try and grow some other things in pots as well. We got some really large pots. And I want to see what the possibilities are with growing in a pot. Just to, just to see. Just to see again to to kind of break the stereotype that you have to have a ton of space or, or be typical when you try and grow giant vegetables, fruits, gourds, whatever. So uh, we're going to take definitely take some videos tomorrow at, uh, at the next way off, which I'm going to take either one of these. I still haven't made up my mind yet. I'm probably going to flip a coin and do some paper, rock, scissors or something. I have no idea. But, uh, but yeah, we'll get some, we'll take some videos of uh, the way off of this hole. And we said we were gonna do it last week in Jared's way off. Take a video of me going around and talking. Didn't happen, but we will do it this week. And uh, we'll show you guys what a way off in Colorado looks like. And those of you who've never been to a way off, we'll show you what a way off in general looks like. We're going to send a soil test off. Depending upon what the soil test says, we'll add those things. We're going to till in some stuff. Let it sit for the last time for too long. So spring, it's not going to be as a frantic mad dash as I was this growing season. Next season, hopefully, it'll be a little, uh, a little less chaotic, a little less frantic. We'll be more prepared, resulting in bigger pumpkins. Hopefully. Um, but yeah. Feel free to contact me through this YouTube video, through Facebook, through email, through text message, phone call, come by, send a letter. Don't forget that we have Colorado Giants t-shirts available for the low, low price of $20. $5 a ship it, so $25 total. Um, and if you want seeds, message me. Uh, we're going to be busting these pumpkins open around Halloween time. Bubba is on display at, uh, at Tagawa. It's a local nursery here. Uh, Red Baron is going to be on display at the Denver Botanical Gardens at Chatfield Farms. So that'll be really cool. We'll have thousands of people seeing pumpkins. There's links to uh, accompanying the pumpkins. There's information on Colorado Giants, Rocky Mountain Giant Vegetable Growers. So we'll try and get some more growers. But uh, but when that's all over, we're going to break them open, harvest the seeds. So if you want seeds, I'll be happy to give you seeds. Just send me an envelope with a uh, small bubble wrap.
that package with a stamp on it and I will put a few seeds in there and send it back to you for the low low cost of free um, but that's it if you guys need anything you know how to get in touch thanks for following us this growing season um, and hopefully we can do just a little bit better next year thanks guys